Almost 900 wrestlers in four different weight classes or four different classes vying for individual gold medals as well as team titles in the three day state wrestling meet here in Omaha. KETV News Watch 7's Matt Lothrop wraps up a busy day for classes B and C from the CenturyLink Center. Day one's night session here at the state wrestling tournament featured classes B and C, including one of the most dominating wrestlers in state history. Syracuse senior Matt Clark added to his Nebraska state record with his 70th and 71st consecutive pins. The mark is the second longest streak in the country and something the South Dakota state football recruit tries to block out. I don't really think, try to think about the streak. I just go out there, try to wrestle my match, and. Uh... What happens, happens, I guess. Well, Haley Schreiermeyer from Logan View pinned her first round opponent in the freshman's first state tournament match. She fell in the quarters, but hopes to have made a name for herself. Just being a freshman and a girl, I was kind of nervous at first, but everybody kept talking to me and I got more confident as it went. Ogallala's Brody Cleveland remained unbeaten on the season. The senior has committed to walk on to the Nebraska football team in the fall and says a state championship would match the excitement that comes with becoming a Husker. It top off about the best month of my life, that's all I can say. Centennial's Doyle Trout is trying to become the state's 25th wrestler to win four straight state titles. He breezed through to the semis and is the only wrestler who can make it four straight this season. Everybody feels that when they're going for something big like this, the atmosphere and everybody's all eyes are on you. So that's what I say, that's what I would say the biggest thing is. At 113 pounds, defending champ Corbin Mink hopes to one day have an opportunity like Trout. The Scott sophomore is on to the semifinals, and he's not alone. Joining him there are a handful of Skyhawks, including last year's state champ at 113, Jeff Hines. The sophomore used this pin in the quarters to advance. Uh, last year I was way more defensive. I worked on my takedowns all season long, getting off the bottom. It's helped me a lot. Hines helped Scott Catholic to atop the point standings in Class B. The Skyhawks hold a one-point advantage despite having two of their wrestlers forfeit matches following an off-the-mat incident last weekend at Districts. In Omaha, Matt Lothrop, KETV Newswatch 7 Sports. Thank you, Matt. On the mat in Class A, Millick South off to a strong start. 120 pounds, sophomore Zach Charity improves his record of 47-0 with this late pin in the quarterfinals. And teammate Isaac De Deloa with 138 pounds on track for his third straight state title. Two pins in a combined 57 seconds. Stay unbeaten, move on to tomorrow's semifinals. I'm feeling pretty solid right now, and uh, I've been training hard, and it's coming down to the wire, so it's, it's about time. Yeah, Millard South leads the Class A team race. Terry Jube at 220, moving on to tomorrow's semifinals with a couple of victories today. Alexander Cloyd moving on as well from Millard South. He gets a pin at 195. And last year's team champ, Omaha North, in third place. Two wins for defending champ Ty Jackson at 160. He's now 47 and 3. And Mark Calvon, also the defending champ, also advancing to the state semis. Senior now 30 and 1. And Devlon Whitcomb at 285, also advancing to the semifinals for the second straight year.